Hello class 106. Today is Monday, March 23rd, 2020. And today we're going to be doing some worksheets for the book, I Like to Make Things. So you should have um, a copy of the worksheet sent over to you. They should be sent from one of the teachers. So let's get started with the worksheets on page, we will start with page 19, okay? So on page 19, what we have to do is we have to number the sentences in the correct order, okay? So the first one, I like to make my own greeting cards. I like to try, I like, I try to design each card with a personal touch, okay? Now if we keep going, the next one, that is why I think making cards is better than buying them. Uh, I, and then next, I'll just read all the sentences and then we'll put them in order. I like to give the jewelry as a gift to my friends and family. They can see that I put time and thought into the jewelry I make. My picture frames make great gifts. People can put their favorite, their favorite photos in the frames and hang them up. I like to make different kinds of jewelry. I enjoy making necklaces and bracelets. I like to make my own picture frames with cardboard and glue. I use seashells, pebbles, and beads to decorate the frames. My friends and family like the cards that I make for them. They know that I have, to, I have taken time to create something special for them. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to put them in order of the story. So if we look, the first thing that we're making are the cards. So the greeting card ones are gonna be the first part. So we have two sentences for greeting cards. We have, that is why I think making cards is better than buying them. We also have, my friends and family like the cards I make for them. They know that I've taken time to create something special for them. So for this one, number one is going to be, can we, I don't wanna show you the rest of the answers. This one right here. Uh, my favorite, my friends and family like the cards that I make for them. Uh, they know that I have taken time to create something special for them. So that's number one. Number two, Number two is gonna be this one right here, because it's still greeting cards, right? Uh, that is why I think that making cards is better than buying them, right? So that's number two. Number three, if we look, if we continue in the story, the next one is jewelry, right? So all the jewelry stuff is gonna be the third, um, the third answer. So number three is gonna be, I like to make different kinds of jewelry. I enjoy making necklaces and bracelets. So number three, uh, number three is gonna be this one right here. I like to make different kinds of jewelry. I enjoy making necklaces and bracelets. That'll be number three. And if you guys want, you can pause the video and see if you can do the rest by yourself and then we'll come back and grade it. Um, but if you wanna continue on with me, that's okay. Number four is gonna be, I like to give the jewelry as gifts to my friends and family. They can see that I put time and thought into the jewelry I make. So number four, will be right here. And then if we continue on in the story, the next thing is the picture frames, okay? So the guy's making the picture frames for his friends. So any picture frame question, or sentence, sorry, is gonna be the next one. Uh, number five is I like to make my own picture frames with cardboard and glue. I use seashells, pebbles, and beads to decorate them. So that's number five, right there. I like to make my own picture frames with cardboard and glue. And then the last one, number six, is going to be my picture frames make great gifts. People can put their favorite photos in the frames and hang them up. Number six is this one right here. So make sure you have the right answers. Here are all the answers. Okay, let's move on to page 20. So page 20, we have some pictures. Um, describe each picture, then number them in order. So from the story, we remember that first it's the greeting cards, then the jewelry, then the picture frames. So remember that. So what's happening in each picture? In this one, the girl is making the card. In this one, she's giving her card to her dad. In this one, she's giving the bracelet to somebody. And in this one, she's making the bracelet. So as we said, the first thing that happens in the story is the greeting cards. So first you have to make it before you can give it. So this will be number one, this will be one, this will be two. And then you have to make the jewelry before you can give it away. So this will be number three, and this will be number four.
Okay. Number three. Number four. Now, down here, make your own sentences using the given expressions. Try it. So you have to make a sentence using these words, okay? I enjoy, tell me one thing you enjoy. I enjoy watching TV. I enjoy playing sports. I enjoy going outside. Anything you want for number one that has I enjoy. Number two, you must have. So tell me something that I must have. So say, if you wanna play soccer, you must have a ball. If you want to go to the park, you must wear a hat, something like that, okay? And then number three, uh, it made me. So you can say, it made me. So imagine you're saying something like, uh, it made me. I was really, the sun was very strong today. It made me very thirsty, okay? Or you can say, um, the food was very spicy. It made me very thirsty. Okay, those are just examples. You don't have to use those, but those are good ones you can use. Or you can say, um, the movie was very scary. It made me afraid. You can say that one too, all right? On the next page, 21, what we're doing is we're taking the words up here and we have to put them into the boxes here. So if we look, happy birthday, Sophie. This something is for you. Well, let's look. What word can we use? We can use bracelet. This bracelet is for you. Okay? This bracelet. It's so... Mm, did you make it? If we look up here, what word can fit in there? What about beautiful? It's so beautiful. Did you make it? It's so... Beautiful, did you make it? And then the next one, yes, I made it. I something making bracelet, making necklaces and bracelets. Now let's look up the words up here. What can fit in there? I enjoy, I enjoy making bracelets, okay? Enjoy. That was one of our expressions, I enjoy. Um, wow. Wow, you must have put your time and something into it. Well, we've already used the word enjoy, we've already used bracelet, and we've already used beautiful. So it's either fun or thought. And it's gonna be thought into it. Thought. And the last one, yes, but it made me happy. And it was so fun. Okay, now what I want you guys to do is either with a friend or a partner or a parent, you guys are gonna take turns. One person is going to be Sophie, the other one's gonna be Nancy. So one person says all of Sophie's lines and the other one is gonna say all of Nancy's lines, okay? So practice that and then we'll move on to the last page, uh, 24. We're going to page 24. So on page 24, Write the food you can make and explain how to make it. So what you have to do here is any, any food, explain to me how to make it. So imagine a sandwich. You're going to say, first you take bread and you take cheese and you take meat and you take lettuce and you put it all together with two pieces of bread on the top and bottom and then lettuce on top, and then on top of that you have cheese, and then the meat on that. So if you want, you can do a sandwich. If you know how to make something else, you can tell me how to make it. But this, this area is you're going to tell me how to make any type of food that you know how. So it can be a sandwich, spaghetti, uh, what other examples do we have? Pizza, soup, noodles, any food, just write down how to make it. Imagine you are explaining to me, you are teaching me how to make the food, and I will write it in here, and write it in here, okay? That is our lesson for today, guys. If you have any questions, call or email the school. We will help you, and I will see you, oops, excuse me, I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Have a good day, guys.